Hello again guys, Damien Jones here again for you today and today I'm not appearing on camera that's right, I'm not appearing on camera because it is absolutely roasting hot weather I'm not used to it and I am currently dripping with sweat because of my uh, hyperhydroidism condition uh, so, I thought, as I've noted on uh, eat on YouTube here for about a fortnight now I'll just get a quick video in with you and this is to show off my Kellogg's the Black Cauldron figure collection now these things um, I used to absolutely love these when I was a kid um, they came out in 1985 and uh, they were basically given away as premiums in the Kellogg's Cornflakes. There were eight figures to collect. I have every one of them here, uh, along with many duplicates. Um, they came in four different colours. The most common colour was green, followed by the second commonest colour which was yellow then red and then the rarest of all a colour that you hardly ever find is blue and I'm lucky enough to have just one blue figure to show you today I have many more of these packed away somewhere but uh, at present I've only got these to show you uh, these were on my shelf as I still collect them in the hope that one day I'll have the entire collection in blue but at the moment it's not happening I'm just getting lots and lots of different duplicates so I'll show you the characters and I'll try and remember the names I don't know if anyone's actually familiar with the film The Black Cauldron but um, I will do my best to try and remember the names and if I get the names wrong you'll have to You'll have to tell me. Uh, Del Huen, I think his name is, is this chap here. And I shall try and give you as best a look as him as I can here on my mobile. Lovely detailed little figure of rather a portly man. And he's basically a pig farmer in the film. And uh, his pig, this little chap here, called Henwen, is no ordinary pig. Because in the film, this little pig has the power to see into the future. And he has a lad with him who works on the farm. And that's this chap here. Let's try and focus as best I can. This lad here. In fact, I've got him in uh, red. Perhaps he'd show... Ah, that's better, isn't it? Shows up a bit better in red. That's this lad here. And his name, if memory serves me correct, is Taran. Okay, and he's the hero who goes on the quest because this little pig Henwen gets kidnapped by a rather nasty creature of evil called and he's also my favorite figure in the collection <laughs> the horned king who's basically like a, a grim reaper type chap who has horns like a stag and a long fur cape and naturally there's a princess and her name is Princess Eloen and that's this lady here I'll show you now Da, da, da. Well, 
well as best I can anyway. Lovely stuff. And she has a little pet creature called Gorgie. And that's this little chap here. Who I actually thought I had in green. But I don't have him here at present in green. I think I've got him packed away in green. I've only got him twice over in yellow here. Uh, in addition to the evil horn king. He has a little creep helping him. Called Creeper. Who's basically like a little hobgoblin type chap. As you can see. He's like the little lap dog of the Horned King. But very charismatic nonetheless, like most villains in films. And last but not least, there is a psychic woman. And her name, I can't for the life of me remember, but I think I should have it written down somewhere. Or do. I think that's right, or Ordu, or something her name is, and I actually forgotten, really, other than being a helper, in getting a little Henwen the pig back from the Horn King, I can't really remember uh, what her part in the Disney film was, but, nonetheless, this is my collection, at the moment, as I say, I have many more of these packed away, but, there really isn't much more to say about them, other than that The Black Cauldron was a great film from the 80s, and uh, I remember these being very popular in the um, cornflakes at the time, and uh, I've got very nice memories of rifling through the cornflakes packets at my nan's house, and my granddad always kept them aside for me. And it's been really nice trying to collect them all again. I never had all the colours as a kid. But, as I say, you could get them... There were eight figures, as I've explained. Which is... Bear with me. That's basically the collection of eight figures that you see in front here. All of these ones. The absolute rarest figure of them all is Creeper. And if you can find Creeper in blue plastic, you're very, very lucky. In fact, if you can find any of these figures in blue plastic, you're very, very lucky. At present, I literally only have... I think I have this one, and I think I have a blue horned king somewhere, but that's about it. Uh, as I say, the easiest ones, the easiest colour to collect the whole collection in is green, followed by yellow, and then slightly rarer is red. And the extremely rare colour to collect all of them in is blue. And that's it guys. That is my Kellogg's The Black Cauldron Figure Collection. Thanks for watching. My name's Damien Jones. And if you haven't already, please sub so subscribe for more. And I'll be back with some more obscure and rare collections very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.